What's up, fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. I'm waiting anxiously on tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to go out, um, do some surf fishing and probably some kayak fishing later on that afternoon. So I'm out here kind of stuck at the house today, so I thought I'd do a quick rundown of what I take when I go surf fishing. I've got all my gear out here, everything I take, all my rods. So I want to show you guys this because I know in the beginning for me it was kind of it was kind of tricky you know am i taking too much am i taking too little and i've learned over time what's what's the good stuff to take to get you through the day so you're not running out of things or you just have a bunch of extra gear that you're not using let's get to it Start this off with the tackle. Um, all the tackle I bring, I can fit in one backpack. I bring two backpacks just because I keep one for GoPro equipment. It's a waterproof um, backpack. I find it comes in handy, especially if it starts sprinkling and stuff. I can um, throw that whole backpack over the top of everything else and it keeps everything else dry too. So I do bring two packs, but just one for tackle. As always, I got my scissors, I got my pliers. Always bring fish gum, always bring fish bites. This just gets me going, right? So I can walk on the beach, I can bait my hooks with the fish bites and the, and the, the fish gum and get lines out there while I'm raking for sand fleas, things of that nature, trying to get some um, live bait. Always bring at least two styles of pompano rigs. Pompey, um, Salty's Pompano Rigs. Always bring as a bunch of different colors. Um, local guy here. Real nice dude. Um, he's in a lot of my local bait and tackles. Also, I bring Frisky Fins. They have a different style of float, you see. So, usually I'll start off with like two rods with Friskies. And then two rods with um, Salty's. And kind of see what the fish are hitting. And then I can switch it up real easy. Always bring my gloves. I'm a gloves guy. I, I fish with these every time I'm fishing. Um, just keeps, helps keep my hands clean, you know? Um, I bring a long pair of hook removers in case I hook up on something like a stingray or something like that where I don't, don't want to get too close to it. I got these. My little weight box. Keep all my weights in one box. Just to make it easy. I don't have any other box this size, so I know this is my weight box. Got my different varieties in there. I usually have a couple of these Spudniks too for real rough days. I'll have one tackle box. This is dedicated directly to poppers. That's all that's in there is poppers. Um, again, different varieties in there. If I see some fish hitting the top, hitting the top of the water, I can tie one of these on and get it out there. And then I just have another tackle box with spoons, um, kind of suspending baits, jig heads, things like that. Always bring my towel. This one's getting kind of dirty. It's about time to get a new one. Sand flea rake and a cooler a must have. I bring a smaller cooler with me when I'm surf fishing just because the fish that I'm keeping aren't that big. Um, every once in a while I get up on a slot red and I got to kind of stuff him in there if I'm going to keep it. But for the pompano, the whiting, the bluefish, this cooler works just fine. Four sand spikes and I actually bring five. There's another one because I use one for my camera stand. I find it's really easy. It sticks down in the sand. It's not going anywhere. Um, I can slide the camera right in there and uh, I can move it around really quickly. It works great for um, a GoPro mount. My two backpacks. This is the Tackle backpack and this is the Plano waterproof um, backpack I use for GoPro equipment. This thing is awesome. Um, sand spike just fell. Again, 
if it starts raining or something like that i can throw my gopro equipment in here and i can kind of throw other stuff i don't want to get wet and throw that on top of it and it keeps the water off and of course the beach cart this thing um was a gift my father actually bought this for me and um it has been a lifesaver i was either carrying everything or using a wagon that doubles as my yard wagon to get stuff down on the beach and it was just um more trouble than it was worth uh a couple times i just wanted to leave it down there on the beach i didn't want to drag it back but when i got this i've had this for about a year now this thing is awesome it's sturdy it holds up i have my little cutting board little spot for whatever sand fleas the handle detaches so this fits nicely in the back of my suv super lightweight put air in the tires every once in a while um measuring stick right on it that's the fish mite that's the fish mate i highly uh highly recommend that if you're getting into some serious surf fishing you're going to be going all the time you got to get a cart and of course the rods i'm taking most days five rods with me when i started i would bring one and as i got into the sport as i started catching more fish i started slowly upgrading um so i have four surf rods that i use and then i have an eight foot rod i use for casting um spoons pompano jigs i'll show you guys those in a minute but this is a 4000 series battle three on an eight foot cajun rod i got a c and b custom jig diamond diamond jig on there right now braid and that's what i use for for launching those jigs and spoons and things like that out there then i have two identical rods these are the 10 foot star aerials both have 5000 series battle threes braid two identical rods then i have a 10 foot ugly stick big water with a 5000 battle two then i have the nine foot ugly stick big water with a 6000 battle two and this is my bulldog rig uh you guys hear me talking about that all the time I got definitely the bigger hook on it, the thicker leader, one drop. That's for the big boys. And these are the Pompano jigs I was telling you guys about. They have a teaser and then the jig. Got a little barrel swivel. On the end, they attach it to the line. And I'll strap that on that eight foot Cajun rod. Launch that out there for Pompano. This one is, uh, this one's Frisky Fins. And then Salty makes one too. This is Salty's, they come in all different colors. Same with the, the bucktail here, the little teaser. Rigged up the same way. Springtime when uh, the Pompano are plentiful out there. You tie one of those on, you throw it out and uh, it's fun to catch those Pompano uh, casting and those things work and that's it that's what I'm taking it looks like a lot but um I'm gonna go ahead and set everything up put everything in the cart it's everything is completely out the bags are empty so just to show you how quick it is just to set it up how convenient the cart is
two minutes and 47 seconds on that setup. As you can see, she's completely ready to either get down on the beach or come off the beach. That's it, guys. Um, that's what I bring down there. That's my setup. You guys got any questions or you have um, maybe something that you bring to the beach that you think I missed? Throw in the comment section. Let me know. Um, I'd love to check it out. Again, I'm always learning. If I feel if you think I'm missing something that would benefit me, let me know. I'll take it out there. I wanted to give a shout out on this video to Lilycraft Design. She um, she does my logo. She does my video editing. She's done business cards for me. She's done flyers for me. Uh, she designed my website. Great, great, talented graphic uh, designer. She made me this for the office. The Perdido Blaine, um, all hand painted. This wood was actually wood left over from Hurricane Sally. So, super cool. And uh, you guys, you guys check her out. I'll link her description. Uh, she does all kind of stuff. So if you're looking for logo designs, business cards, things like that, uh, hit her up. Guys, I hope this video helps someone out there. You know, um, four years ago, I had no idea what I was doing and I'm still learning. And I watched videos like this to figure out what to do once I got on the beach. So that's what I'm trying to recreate here. You know, all these videos with these guys I watched, that's how I learned to fish. That's how I learned to kayak fish. That's how I learned to surf fish. So it was a big deal for me to start doing these videos to help you guys out too. So if you have questions, hit me up on the comments. Check me out on Facebook, check me out on Instagram. You can see all my, my um, services for guides at perditoblaine.com. My pricing's in there uh, for military discounts. Y'all come out here and do this thing with me. Beautiful day in Perdido, y'all.